Fox Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. They love the black and gold here in the Steel City. And a few moments ago, their Steelers emerged from the Heinz Field Tunnel. They're set, we're set, as the Steelers are ready to do battle with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hi again, folks. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And as we all know, Charles, offenses today, they're driven by the passing attack. But Larry highlighted in the open a couple of running backs who might just disagree with that assessment. Yeah, and sometimes, occasionally, you get a game where running backs will match each other, kind of carry for carry on opposite teams. But for the most part, they focus on themselves. How many touches will they get? And can they create big plays for their own team? And both of these guys, certainly more than five, 10 touchbacks. They're workhorses. On first down, Bortles. And the catch made here by Marquise Lee. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. But Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. to throw it's Bortles completes it to Lee and he is out of bounds inside the 35 a really nice gain of 25 yards about me to jump in on you partner but they didn't waste any time getting downfield did they I mean a nice big play there three plays three successful plays in plus territory now this defense on its heels a bit it seems like they had something targeted there doesn't it it's like okay we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate let's go ahead and get right to it From the gun, it's Bortles. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. T.J. Watt able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of three. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Play fake to Ivory. Now Bortles. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Throwing on first down is Bortles. And out of bounds, just shy of the end zone at the one. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And now it's second and goal. They'll give Ford out another crack. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. Here we go now. Ivory. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. Right at the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Brandon, I know what I would do in this situation. You're on the road. It's the opening drive. You've gotten all the way down here. I would go for it. And Lambeau will put this one through. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. And that field goal caps an 11-play drive. It's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. Now a first down carry by Bell. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. 20. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. 
Le'Veon Bell, 50 yards, and the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Working from the gun, it's Bortles. And he's got it to Hearns. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. A 14-yard first down pick up for the Jaguars. Here's Bortles to throw. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Bud Dupree. Tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Give him three yards on the run. Now they'll need to draw up something good here on third and 13. Bortles going to run the draw with Fournette. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. The second half starts with a carry by Bell. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second down, Roethlisberger. And he connects with Vance McDonald. The big fella, the 20. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Vance McDonald, 74 yards. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. terminology they use to something to get you off to a quick start on first and ten here's Bortles and an, now he's hit and Bortles fumble it's loose <laughs> on plays like this when the ball comes free it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Here we go now. Huh? Huh? 390. 390. This is Fournette. Oh, Fournette loses it. It's out. But it looked like a Jaguar was able to cover this thing, and so Jacksonville will keep control. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. They've hit four of seven. This is third and seven. Now Bortles again. Looking long for Westbrook. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged, because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he loses the football a second time. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. But call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, 
Whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. This is the most important of them all. Third and goal. Bortles now to throw. That's caught at the two. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Mercedes Lewis from four yards out. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. The big fella was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. There we go now. Three. They'll try and run it here. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Well, partner, since this new two-point rule came into play, offenses spend a lot more time working on it. That means the defenses are doing the exact same thing. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. And some room to work. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Roethlisberger trying here for Bryant and it's intercepted picked off at the 48 <laughs> now, Brandon this is a veteran quarterback back there he should know better than to make a throw like this this is definitely not his best ball and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Now Bortles. Gotta have this one. And this is caught by Lee. Touchdown Jacksonville. Marquise Lee. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Well, we've seen some lead changes, and it certainly appeared that one of these squads was in full control of the game, but that's not the case after that touchdown. Yeah, they erase a two-TD deficit here to grab the lead. So here we go now as the Jaguars will go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground, and he is going to lose yardage here. And he will not get there. He comes up short. And they're unable to push this lead to a field goal as it'll remain a one-point game. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. Holding offense. Here's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Bortles will try again on second down. And an alley to run. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll get this one up to the 26. 
call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Bortles. And this is going to be incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Now Roethlisberger on first down. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. 23 yards on the play. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster, complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. The reception good for seven. It's third down. He's back to throw. Man open left side is Brown. He'll look to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. Now, before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Roethlisberger will stay out there, and they're going to go for it on fourth. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A give to Bell. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So here we go. On now is the kicker, Chris Boswell. kick is good and the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute all right so time to reset here it's a huge kick there gives them the lead but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature you're exactly right about back to throw and he can't get a throw away he's taken down clock now under 30 ticks and running Just 21 seconds now as he spikes it to stop the clock. They'll look to throw. A throw left side complete to his receiver, Westbrook. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They get 15, but they still need it a little bit more. Fourth down. One final try now for Bortles. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly? Even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com.
The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.